Hello, 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 and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my Through the Seasons Spring Kit. Now, we have uh, participants who are playing along that are in Australia. Their season is going to be the opposite of those of us in the Northern Hemisphere. So I think this is so interesting because during this um, challenge hop, whatever you want to call it, you're going to get such a variety of paper design inspiration. It is wonderful. This is such a good idea. And I love what everyone brings to the table. Now, let's get back to my spring kit. I had created a video showing the first five layouts that I have done. And I don't know what took in possession of my brain and my mouth, but I started rambling just off topic for way too long. I'm deleting it. You're not going to get process videos <laughs> for those first five layouts. I will do my best to try to make up for that. Um, I think I can make up for that. I'm going to go backwards and show you what I've done. I've already shared my kit. So let me set this to the side because this is some scraps and some extras. And let's talk about this stack first. So in the beginning, I just, let me straighten up this camera, my word. That is wonky. Okay, so in the beginning, I had pulled older uh, spring kits from my shelf. So when uh, holidays and seasons is my biggest organization category because that's how my brain works. And within those within that category, there are color groupings. I am not a person who strictly scraps by color. That is not how my brain works, but I kind of respond to color groupings in different saturations. And that's what seasons gives to me. Spring is, you know, light colors, they're pastels and they're, uh, kind of light and airy and then you get into summer they're more vibrant um a little leaning more into the primary colors and then you get into fall which are the earth tones and uh muted colors and then winter are your cool tones and then you get the jewel tones with, with the traditional Christmas colors. And I love that. I absolutely love just having those color groupings and playing within them. Occasionally, I will pull from my color categories that are my papers that are separated specifically by color to um, enhance my kits. And I love the fact that Jenny Linguini came out and we did it for two years running a year-long challenge of going through our color categories because it helped me to refine my color categories and to actually use them because that is probably the color that the my color separated papers is probably my least used uh, organization style so my advice you're not asking for it it's free you're not you're not paying for this is think about how your brain works when you're looking for something what are you looking for how are you looking for it that's going to help you define how you need to organize the bulk of your inventory your paper it's not a one size fits all thing. It just isn't. I have several separations. I have my seasons and holidays. That is one very large separation. 
I have my color category that is smaller. I have papers separated by manufacturer that are single papers. I have my old collections that are separated by manufacturer. So if I've worked with the collection and I've played with it and I think I'm finished with it, then I put it by manufacturer so that it, it's easier to find in that separation. I have some categories that I separate like gingham. So since 2019, I have been an absolute nut about gingham. And I think it's be finally beginning to calm down. I still love gingham, but I don't go out looking for it anymore. Uh, another category I have is grid or uh, ledger paper. I love those for backgrounds. And I have script. I love anything that's text, script. So I have those separations. Now, that's not all of them. I'm just kind of giving you some ideas of what I separate. Next, I have uh, themes. So like birthday. When I'm doing a birthday photo, I want birthday themed papers and stickers to go with it. I don't want to have to go looking through all of my embellishments to try to find a cupcake. I want it to be right there with my birthday theme and that's one of the reasons why I have my themes. School is another one. So this is just to kind of get, get your brain turning. Think about the different ways and if you have a large inventory you're probably going to need to have different categories, different ways to sort to help you find the things that you want to find. This has taken me a long, long time. When I lived in Alabama and I was hiding things from myself and I did not realize the large inventory I had, I didn't use this many sortations. And now that I'm up here and everything's out in the open, I have to see all that I have I've had to refine how I organize so that when I'm needing to go find a certain thing, I can go right to it and get it quickly. I'm not wasting days looking for a thing that I I thought I had it. And no, I, I'm, I'm pretty much able to just go find it because of the different sortations that I have. So in saying that, this challenge, this hop is... Focusing on our seasons, and oh my gosh, I love it. I stink and love it because it's this is my wheelhouse. This is where my brain goes to, to to sort anyway. And I pulled several collections that were older off of my shelf, and I created my kit. Then I went back and made some page kits from those old collections. So as you can see, this is a photo of my husband. And there are, this side looks more feminine, but we have the brown here. And I'm probably going to trim this out and use this design and not so much the colors. But I'm able to get more masculine in these two other uh, supporting papers. So I went through and I made page kits. I spent an entire morning printing out photos. So I went all the way back to uh, like 2010 to start. This is my husband before, while he was in his past marriage, his first marriage. So this was a vacation they had, but these photos are important to him and I want those reflected in our, in our albums so that when he's looking through, he's getting to enjoy these moments as well. But I went through and I made kits. Then I paired those photos up with the kits that I had created. So that's going to help me move along a little faster. So now I want to show you the five layouts that I've already created. I had done these in a kind of a batch processing in the video. I'm going to have to explain it to you because uh, I'm not going to share that video. It was crazy. Just craziness. Anyway, I did this in a batch processing. So I chose some uh, sketches and I kind of just refined it down to what was the thing that drew me to those sketches. 
And the thing that drew me to those schedules, sketches was the bands. Every single one of them had bands somewhere on them. And I thought, okay, I, that's going to be my jumping off point. I'm going to use bands in different directions. So with bands, they're easy to get at least four layouts just by using the same size band because you can do uh, a band down at the bottom. You can do a band at the top. You can do to the left. You can do or yeah, or to the right. So there's just different ways that you can throw a band on there to get four easy layouts. But then you can go even further than that and you can use wider bands, you can use skinnier bands and strips. And so that's kind of what was going through my mind. And if you'll notice, that theme using bands is going to be on every single layout, even though they look very, very different. And I also decided, before I share these, so I had my kit, I decided that I wanted to bring in a little bit more grown up kind of vibe to some of the layouts and I brought out I've pulled out my spectrum sherbet so that I can complement now I have no intention of using all of this I love my spectrum sherbet I just wanted to kind of enhance some of my layouts so now let's get back to these layouts so this is some spectrum sherbet here or oh, this is some 49 and market market I should say so that was a scrap anyway so we have this layout of my little guy and the I had put to the dentist as my title and then I found this later on I thought well I'm just gonna do that as a subtitle at the top and this is my little guy going to the dentist when he was much younger and he does not love going to the dentist and this is my fellas us doing yard work and here is my band, and I've snuck in some, some more 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbert. This is one of my employees who just literally became like a family member. I love, love, love him. And we were no longer working at the same office. He had bought a new car and came by the office that I was at to show me his new car. He was so very, very proud that day. And of course, I've snuck in some more 49 and Market there. And this layout, we've got the band, a wide band going across. And in my background, I have some more of that 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbet. This photo is the only photo I took of this day. And I don't know if you can see here, but there's my name on the program. Uh, there were a few women who, from our district, from work, that was invited to a tea put on by our district. And it was a Women's of Excellence tea. Tenacious, Exceptional Achievers. That's what T stood for. Because, you know, if you know anything about the Postal Service, we love an acronym. So, I do not and have not in the past recorded very much about my career. I haven't. And I'm, I'm, I'm toward the end of my career. I have had a good one. The Postal Service has been good to me and has provided a good life for my sons and myself. And is currently providing good life for my husband and myself. But I just have not recorded very much about my achievements, my awards, or anything like that. And I probably are, am going to start doing that a little more. My boys need to know about their mom. I mean, the, my career has taken up a lot of my time. It's a big part of my life. And my boys, they do need to see that their mom has achieved some things. And this was a game night. For my boys when they were much younger and that is the five layouts now we're going to shift gears a little bit I'm going to pick out some more kits and we're going to create today I have 
picked out my five kits that I'm going to be playing with today. And I'm going to focus more on the block design. So it's just going to be blocks on blocks on blocks. I, I like that look and it makes for easy, quick pages. So I'm going to kind of take you through that process of just, um, let's see if, let me get my sketches out. And so this is a good example of just block on block on block. It, it has a little band and it has a banner there, but the underneath, so when you refine it down to what is at the very, very base, it's a block on block on block. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. I like the cleanness of a good block design. So that's what I'm going to be playing with. I'm going to go through and create my bases. It's very quick for me. Uh, I don't dilly dally. I've talked about this before. Once I've made up my mind the design I'm going with, I just start cutting and slapping glue on and putting them down. And I'm able to, will probably take me less than 30 minutes to create five bases. So let me get that done and then I'll come back. Just like I predicted, these came together so fast. Just deciding on my base design. And I have created my blocks. And I know that this additional piece of paper, I want to fussy cut some butterflies, but I also want to use this tone on tone um, floral. So that one is pretty much ready to go. On this layout, I have created my base. So I've got three pieces here to make my base. And I want to use this paper. So I may fussy cut some of those florals. I don't think I will because they are not in agreement with, uh, I'll, I maybe will cut one and just see how it looks together, but it, it doesn't agree to in my mind, in my eyes right now. But I definitely want to use this really scuffed up wood grain to use for matting and uh, probably for a journaling uh, spot. On this layout, I have created my base. So I have my three blocks. And I want to, even though I have a band here of the butterflies, I wanted to keep these butterflies to use as part of my embellishments. And on this layout, I have three very large blocks. And I've got to come up with some embellishments for this one. On this layout, I have created my blocks. They're a little smaller. And since this goes with this, this collection, it, this all came from the same collection, then these flowers will work for sure. But I also have these cut aparts that I can use. So I'm going to be very careful what flowers I choose to cut so that I can access the cut aparts that I want to use. So that's how we're coming along. It's moving very quickly and I'm going to start working on uh, some placement. Okay, I have pretty much done most of the layouts. I just have to add a few things and I will do that, but not in this video. I need to get this video over with and up <laughs> for most of all but these will get worked on some and maybe at the end of the spring season I will share the final layouts. That's my that's my plan. We'll see how things work out. But as you can see, I just layered 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 and this is a 6 by 8 piece of mente. It comes from one of these basic books that you can get. So that's from there. And I just am pulling from, so I have this little thing on my desk that has uh, finishing pieces that I, I just want to get used up that I've had for a long time. And I, they're from kits or collections that 
I've pretty much completely used it up, but there's still some really cute pieces that I want to use. So that's what's in that little container. Some people call them uh, bash kits and or some just use it up bins and that's what that is. So I've got this layout. I do have some finishing touches I need to place on it. And that's pretty much the case for all of them. You know, I need to put some enamel dots or uh, what have you, flowers, whatever. And these are my five layouts. So when we lay them down, the bases came together super, super fast. It took me longer to, you know, do some of the trimming of things or selecting uh, add-on pieces because none of these are full kits. When you have a collection, you've got everything there for you. I had to go through and just make things uh, work from what I have around on my desk. And that's the goal. That's what I'm trying to do. So it's not a bad thing. I'm trying to get things used up. I will be very, very transparent and honest with you. One of the things that has been on my mind for a bit and more recently has just been kind of coming more to the forefront is what am I going to be leaving behind? If something were to, uh, you know, even in 20, 30 years, if I, if I still make it that long and I'm using my inventory, what am I leaving behind? I don't want to leave the, my space as it is right now. I know I eventually I'm going to be moving downstairs, but having the the overflow and the surplus that I have is just not what I want. It's not the burden I want to leave for my husband or my children. I, I just don't. I don't want to leave. The, this is not the legacy I want to leave behind. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I don't want to leave a hoarding uh, legacy. That's No, I don't. I, I want to just, the things I love, I want to get them used, enjoy using them. Now, if they go through these layouts and throw them away or think, my gosh, what was she thinking? That's on them. <laughs> that's on them. And that's okay. I want to enjoy this hobby for myself. That's, that is my purpose now is to just you know, relax, enjoy pretty paper, pretty embellishments, take some time that's just for me and be creative. I think that is a, that is every bit as noble as creating for historical purposes. So that is where my mind is currently. And, um, it's it's giving given me a burning desire to just be mindful with purchases I make and to use what I love. Just get it used and enjoy it. I will tell you for, uh, that I have not always been here in this mindset. This has been developing over years. Um, I, I've for a long, long time, I was in a snatch and grab mentality. You know, the more I could get it at the better price, the better off it was. The happier I was. Uh, the thrill of the hunt and the search and the, the getting, it was all great. Yeah, you know, seasons change and I'm just in a different place now. Once again, I don't know what it is about this video. Uh, I have gotten sidetracked and... Uh, gone down some rabbit trails that were unnecessary <laughs> and I apologize but I'll try to do better next time maybe let's cross our fingers maybe I'll do better I don't know come back and we will chat again soon bye bye